Hi, my name is Sam, and this is another Indesign 9.0 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will cover what the median filter does and what, how to use interactive thresholding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Open Data, and we're going to go to Aviso 9.0 Data, and then we're going to go to Images. We're going to go to Film, and we're just going to click on the first one. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach ortho views to this. I don't really like these white spots, so what I'm going to do to get them, rid of them is I'm going to use the median filter. So the median filter is commonly used to process images and to take the noise out and smooth them out, okay? So we just click on the median filter, and I'm going to click auto refresh so I can show you what's happening. Make sure to disable these ortho views. And reattach them to the to this one. Okay. So now that we have this, we're just going to go to the media filter, median filter, and try out different settings. So the difference between XY planes and 3D is so in XY it will just take each slice and process it like that. With 3D, it will process it by each voxel. So here's the difference. 3D definitely looks better but it takes a tiny bit longer to process. This is how many, so this neighborhood is how many voxels it will process. So can you need to process six, gives you the least smoothings, 18, more, or 26, which has the most. So you can change the number of iterations, so that means how many times it does the median filter. So one does little, and 10 does much more. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at three. So the next thing we're going to do is I want to create this into a surface or something. I want to create this into a binary image instead of grayscale. So how we do that is we can either use the label, segmentation editor, or we can use interactive threshold. So how we can do that is we use interactive threshold. So interactive thresholding basically takes a grayscale image which has 32, 16, or 8 values colors per pixel voxel and turn it into a binary image which has only two possibilities one for the pixels of interest and one for the background so that means I can transform this into transparent so first thing we're going to do is make a 3D rendering and we're, and we're just going to go and see and find where we like it so I find about 22 21 about is good so you can see what this is going to be like You can change the slice. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to click apply, and now we have a thresholded binary image, which we can easily create a volume rendering of, a color. We can create a. We can generate a surface from it. Just click apply, and now we have a surface. This is much easier than going through all the segmentation editor, which takes a long time. So as you can see, this thresholded image has two different areas, the material one and exterior, which is one. Okay, thanks so much for watching, I'll be back soon with another Aviso 9.0 tutorial.